Well, hey, hello everyone. It's been a while since I, I, I've made one of these videos on YouTube, but just not enough time with all these games and teams and leagues trying to make up time. I felt compelled to come back because of the performance of Arsenal Football Club yesterday against Manchester City in the semi-final of the FA Cup. Uh, but most importantly, I think uh, it, it's not so much the team, although the performance was, was beautiful. I mean, uh, I'm short of calling it a masterclass. It was uh, maybe... Uh, preview of what's to come under Mikel Arteta and I just want to talk about Mikel Arteta because I felt it was it, it was a very good appointment I like everyone felt that probably is going to take a long time but yesterday was an important match it, it really was yes they've beaten Liverpool um, in the Premier League which was important but I think yesterday may have been uh, watershed moment a little bit for Mikel Arteta. If you watch this game, if you watch Arsenal, that it seemed disciplined just about everywhere on the pitch, an Arsenal team that prevented so many great Manchester City players from playing. It was as simple as that. Uh, almost back to the good old days when they not only entertained, but they were uh, just so clinical in terms of how they brought the ball out of the back, how quickly they moved from defense to, to into the attack. Uh, this to me was maybe a foundation of what's to come. Now, when, of course, Arsenal and Mikel Arteta are going to need a lot of time. Uh, maybe the best performance from David Luiz, but I'm not willing to give him a benefit of the doubt on one game. In fact, I, I, I think even though he signed and he may be an important part of the team in the dressing room and all that, uh, we're going to see, we're going to continue to see mistakes from David Luiz. Uh, so that, that needs changing. But Granit Xhaka has been a revelation under Arteta ever since the, uh, the restart. Uh, I feel like I need to apologize to him because I've been critical. I think part of that success is, is Mikel Arteta's managing. Also, part of the success is recognizing that Guendouzi, for example, is not only a distraction of the pitch, but most importantly, his distractions on the pitch because he's he's not disciplined and 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 it seems that he needs a, a ball all, all to himself at times. So, uh, when you look at the little details of, of what happened yesterday, you just have a feeling that Mikel Arteta, in time, if he's given time and a little bit of money, in terms of teaching and developing players uh, will get this Arsenal team right. Uh, uh, I was incredibly impressed. I just think that if I played for him for the first time in a long time, and that includes some years under Arsene Wenger, Wenger there's accountability there, isn't there? I've mentioned Guendouzi, I think we've seen with Mesut Ozil, where he initially maybe got a chance, uh, uh, benefited out from, uh, from Arteta, but knowing the personality and, and the character of, of Mikel Arteta, you'd say to yourself, well, you can't have passengers there, and, and Mesut Ozil is a passenger. Uh, uh, so long term, um, uh, he's not going to be there. So again, um, just, just a good feeling about the, the character, the accountability, the persistency uh, uh, from Arteta in terms of how he picks his squad, how he makes players better. I've mentioned already Granit Xhaka. You look at Pepe, who, who, who you see gaining this confidence. Aubameyang, of course, you know, what else can you say about him? Lacazette, I think he's managing him just right. Uh, at the moment, the players like Saka in time will gain experience and, and on and on and on. But yesterday, it was a mature performance from still an immature team in a way. I mean, when I saw the lineup, the back three once again worries you a little bit. Then you see Bayerin as a wing back, Maitland House, who was absolutely outstanding. And, and and Manchester City that was looking for answers that they couldn't find. They really couldn't with all these great players. Uh, I mean, just about everyone had a day off, but it's almost too easy to say that it was just Manchester City that didn't get the job done. You almost have to look at the tactics from Arteta and from Arsenal that prevented uh, arguably the best team in Europe from playing. So fair play to uh, Arsenal Football Club for getting into the final because, uh, again, it could be a great foundation. And if they win it, it's going to be an even bigger incentive for the next season. But again, uh, uh, the most important thing that I got out of all of it is, once again, a confirmation of Mikel Arteta being not only the right manager, but one that I think if you're an Arsenal fan, you can look forward towards uh, building a, a great arsenal once again.
Uh, well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I hope it wasn't too long. I didn't mean to, uh, mean to go on and on, but I did as I often uh, do. Uh, hopefully you liked it. Uh, leave me the comments if you have any. Ciao.